طيب ار يو جيتنج مي اوكي ايفريبادي تسمعوني آه شباب دكتور نسمعك ايه دكتور والسكرين واضح آه. يعني منه اوكي اوكي زين آه. بسم الله chronic venous insufficiency what we call it CVI now what do you mean by the term chronic venous insufficiency chronic venous insufficiency is a spectrum of the clinical manifestation occurring due to chronic venous hypertension in the lower limbs, which follows the development of valvular incompetence, reflux, and or venous obstruction. So it is a spectrum, spectrum of manifestation. It's, it's not a single manifestation, okay? It's a spectrum. Many, many investigate, many manifestations, many clinical features in the lower limb these features are present, we call this condition chronic venous insufficiency. Key point in this syndrome is chronic venous hypertension, as we will see in a moment. Now, prevalence. Only venous sufficiency, or what we call sometimes venous reflux disease, is two times more prevalent than these, uh, and five times more prevalent than peripheral arterial disease, as uh, as it's shown in this uh, figure. How this condition, this condition is, it's a very very common condition. Okay, two times more than uh, coronary heart disease. Now, pathogenesis. In a brief, the, uh, the pathogenesis of chronic venous insufficiency. CVI develops when venous pressure is increased, venous hypertension, and return of blood is impaired through the several mechanisms. Venous valvular incompetence, whether in the deep system or superficial system or uh, perforators. You remember from the uh, previous lecture in the last week, the hydrostatic pressure and uh, the, dynamic, the dynamic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure, which is kept by uh, the uh, normal valves, and dynamic pressure, which is... Uh, kept by the uh, uh, contraction. Valve incompetence, whether in the deep system or superficial system or perforators, the hydrostatic pressure will, will be impaired, leading to CVI or, chronic, or uh, hypertension, venous hypertension. Second mechanism, venous obstruction, DVT. Third mechanism, dysfunction of the muscle pump lead to venous blood not being effectively emptied out of the distal extremity, for example, immobility. So, when, when we have venous obstruction, a uh, valve incompetence, or venous obstruction, like DVT, or muscle pump failure mechanisms, will lead to venous hypertension. Of course, venous hypertension, chronically, it will lead to, so, either we have valvular incompetence, or in the, in the system, deep or perforator, or superficial venous obstruction due to DVT, or muscle pump failure, like in, in, in mobility, this, all these will lead to venous hypertension, venous hypertension in the lower limbs will lead to CVI, or chronic venous insufficiency. 
point again, again, again and again. The key point is in the development of chronic venous deficiency is chronic venous hypertension in the lower limb deep system. زين. راح نشوف احنا chronic venous deficiency ونقسمها قسمين superficial chronic venous deficiency اللي هي due to Uh, valve, valve incompetence in the superficial system. We uh, deep, deep uh, chronic venous insufficiency due to valve incompetence or venous obstruction in the deep system. How this chronic venous hypertension Will lead to the skin changes. CVI. Venous hypertension can lead to of CVI um, via two theories. First theory, white BC entrapment theory. So white BC trapped in the capillary wall. This will lead to inflammatory reaction and the release of a prolytic enzyme. And this will lead to endothelial damage. Second theory is fibrin cuff theory. Formation of capillary beds and fibrinogen leak, formation of fibrin cuff. This will stop delivery of oxygen and nutrients and growth factors. Changes, whether white PC trauma theory or fibrin cuff theory, will lead to this of chronic. Venous hypertension. Now, tension will lead to the defective microcirculation, of course, RBC lysis, dermatitis, dermatosclerosis, and venous ulcer. These are the skin changes, changes of chronic venous hypertension, which are the which are the mnemonic of CVI. I will repeat again. Through white BC entrapment theory and fibrin cuff theory lead to skin changes. These are Due to hemosterone deposition, we have the derm either dermatitis, rainbow dermatosclerosis, and we'll have venous ulcer. Again, you remember the, the uh, CIB classification from the previous lecture. We have to focus on <clears throat> clinical classification. Three to six, C3, C3 to six. These are the clinical features of CVI. When we have C3 to C6, that, that means there's increased pain and reduced quality of life. CVI. <clears throat> Now, what are the risk factors of advancing age, family history of venous disease, especially DVT, for a long standing and sitting, and increased body mass index, you know, obesity, smoking, style, mobility, lower extremity trauma, prior venous thrombosis, or shunt, hereditary condition, high estrogen state, and, and Pregnancy. These are risk factors. What are the clinical symptoms of CVI? Pain, of course, heavy legs, paresthesia and burning sensation, localized itch with skin changes, edema. Of course, these symptoms worsen with standing or walking and are relieved with rest and elevation. Now, what are the clinical signs of CVI? 
Yeah. Leg edema. Swelling. Skin changes. Like hyperpigmentation. Black to brown. Uh, due to hemosiderin from RBC breakdown. This is dermatitis. Hypodermatosclerosis. And venous stasis also. Rare condition, uh, sorry, not in, in, in advanced cases, not in rare, uh, advanced cases, uh, we have this sign, what we call, what we call, champagne bottle appearance. Condition, there is deformity, uh, uh, type spinal virus due to progressive scarring around the ulcer and permanent lead to uh, permanent deformity. <clears throat> what investigations you should do for a patient with CVI? Invasive investigation. The most common, as I said in the previous lecture, is Doppler ultrasound or duplex scan. The deep and superficial venous thrombosis evaluate for incompetent veins with significant reflex diseases, evaluate for incompetent perforating veins and tributaries. Ultrasound will give us about the deep system and superficial system. Latency, the valve incompetence, perforator incompetence, and the valves. Uh, CTV, CTV venography, and uh, MRV, uh, MRI uh, venography. Also, invasive technique needed in, in special uh, situations like, like venography or intramuscular ultrasound, or what we call IVAS. Venography may be needed when there is a plan for uh, interference in cases of nurse, uh, uh, now, what about the treatment? We have first conservative, of course. Every patient with CVI starts him to have conservative measures, like leg elevation, heart level for 30 minutes, three to four times daily. This leg elevation will improve microcirculation, reduce edema, and promote healing of venous ulcers. Exercise, daily walking, and simple ankle flexion uh, exercises. Uh, compressive therapy. Uh, bandages special bandages and uh, special elastic stocking. But I have to focus here that compressive therapy is contraindicated and should be avoided when there's cellulitis or significant or significant arterial occlusive disease. The patient with CVI have cellulitis, the patient has, sorry, has cellulitis or these compressive therapy is uh, Contraindicated. It may worsen the situation. As I said, compressive stocking, gradual decompression. We apply a special elastic stock, stocking with a gradual, uh, gradual decompression, a gradual decrement in the pressure from down. Local treatments. All these. All these are conservative measures. I'm still talking about the conservative measures in the treatment of CVI. Second exercise, third compressive, and uh, for local treatments. First, skin care, uh, skin cleansing, uh, cleansing agent like wash uh, with uh, a mild and soap or we, we use some sort of uh, 
audience provide a film of what to precate the skin. You may use uh, uh, barrier preparations, uh, physically block uh, chemical irritants and moisture. Sometimes we use topical corticosteroids and to treat stasis uh, dermatitis. Uh, <clears throat> we may need uh, also care of uh, debridement and cleaning. We are still in the conservative measures in the treatment of CVI. Uh, fifth, a systemic therapy. Some patients may need systemic treatment. First, uh, venotonic drugs like venoloton or daflon. These agents will tone of the uh, muscles and the wall of the veins, and this will improve venous outflow, reducing, reducing the venous hypertension. As active drugs like bentoxifilin, it will it will improve red cell def, uh, deformability, prevents uh, inappropriate white cell activation, and enhance fibrinolysis. Or aspirin sometimes may be used. It may accelerate the healing of chronic ulcers. Mode of treatment of CBI is ablation therapy. For ablation therapy, a patient with persistent signs and symptoms of venous disease after a minimal of three months of medical therapy, let's to say uh, compression and other conservative measures, documented reflux. When you have a reflux in the deep system or or superficial system. By talking about ablation therapy, I am talking specifically about the superficial venous insufficiency, the superficial chronic venous sufficiency. That to say, due to competence in the deep and the, the superficial system. I'm talking about ablation therapy and the treatment of CVI, يعني a patient and the varicose vein. ممكن وياها incompetent perforators. The deep venous system as a cause of من عندي chronic venous deficiency due to تم ما استخدم ablation therapy. بس هاي المعلومة تكون واضحة. Chronic venous deficiency, يعني due to, to varicose veins, ممكن استخدم ال ablation therapy. عندي deep system chronic venous deficiency, استخدم غير methods بال treatment. ما استخدم ال ablation therapy of course. يعني ما أقدر استخدم مثلا uh, uh, laser أو uh, أو radio frequency uh, بال deep system. Indications. For ablation therapy, patient with persistent signs and symptoms of venous disease after a minimum of three months therapy and documented reflux. Absolute contraindications, acute DVT, phlebitis, pregnancy, يعني the patient عنده DVT or عنده varicose veins, ablation therapy is completely contraindicated. Uh, the patient عنده phlebitis or cellulitis, and uh, of course, in a pregnant gene therapy cannot be done. Now, as I focused before, this type of therapy, ablation therapy, used for treatment of superficial CVI in a system. Now, Ablation therapy, as I, as I said in the, in the previous lecture, in the treatment of varicose veins, either we use uh, endovenous laser therapy or uh, endovenous radio frequency ablation. Surgical treatment as, a, as, as an ablation therapy. As I said in the previous lecture, we physically destroy the vein 
partial or complete removal. You may use uh, stripping with or without staph phlebectomy. So, either in ablation therapy, either we use laser or radio frequency, or we use surgery, surgical removal of the incompetent great saphenous or lesser saphenous vein with its uh, tributaries. Again, this type of therapy, chronic venous hypertension or chronic uh, venous insufficiency due to valve incompetence and the superficial venous system. What about deep chronic venous insufficiency treatments? The deep system, CVI. What about the treatment of this condition? Now, if we flex, yeah, that to say, valvular, valvular insufficiency in the deep veins, technique, a surgical technique called extraction. If I have chronic deep venous obstruction, let's say chronic DVT or uh, narrowing, proximal narrowing in the, I may use venous stenting. Of course, all both these procedures, I must have, I must have, full assessment of the deep system by venography, or at least uh, CT venography. So, in the deep system, not in the superficial system, I'd say in the deep veins, either I use valve reconstruction surgery, or I may use venous stenting when there is steno proximal stenosis or narrowing Prevention. How we prevent CVI? First, adequate anticoagulation after DVT should be should be treated with uh, adequate uh, adequate anticoagulation. Use of compression stocking for up to two years after DVT or venous trauma. Three lifestyle changes. For example, weight loss, regular exercise, and reduction of dietary fluoride. Sodium chloride. That's all about the. Now we will we'll talk about. What is an ulcer? In general, an ulcer is a break in the continuity of an epithelial surface characterized by a progressive destruction of the surface epithelium and so venous ulcer, a skin ulcer caused by high venous pressure. The skin ulcer caused by by high venous pressure. And as I said before, as I said before, manifestations of CVI. This is one of the manifestations of CVI. Now, ulcer in general, what are the causes of ulcers in the lower lips or, or in the lip? Peripheral arterial disease, diabetes, neuropathic ulcer, traumatic ulcer, malignant ulcer, Infective ulcer and uh, vasculitis may lead to an ulcer. Now, what are the clinical features of venous ulcer? ulcer. By inspection, the site of, of, the, of venous ulcer is, is uh, characteristic, what we call 
ether area um, in the medial aspect of the lower the leg above uh, sometimes anterior to the medial modulus this specific the gator area it is solitary in shape the edge is lobbing and it's surrounding the uh, skin uh, varicose veins besides the, uh, beside the other features of uh, CVI so it is solitary oval uh, with, with sloping edge of the lower leg, gator area, associated with other skin changes of uh, CVI, uh, like uh, dermatitis, libodermatitis sclerosis, and with, associated with varicose veins, of course. Inspection of venous ulcer. To palpate the area, surrounding the venous ulcer, it is tender, of course, and uh, the skin, uh, so the ulcer is fixed to the underlying skin. Sometimes we, uh, during palpation, we may use this for venous incompetence. We will talk in the clinical sessions. Sometimes we, f we may find uh, uh, lymph nodes uh, due to uh, cellulitis. Sometimes we may uh, see bony deformities due to abnormal gait. What investigations we must have in case of venous ulcer, investigation of uh, CVI, uh, invasive uh, double ultrasound, CTV, MRV, uh, and invasive. Sometimes we may need venography or uh, intravascular ultrasound, EVAS. Uh, skin biopsy, some, especially those patients with the chronic uh, ulcer, skin biopsy may need it to may be needed to exclude malignancy. Arterial diseases uh, should be uh, excluded uh, in case of chronic venous uh, ulcer by, uh, by using uh, anclobrachial uh, pressure index, arterial doubler sometimes, even arteriography sometimes uh, may, need, may be needed. Now, how can you, can you differentiate, differentiate between venous and ulcer? Okay. This is a common question. Differentiation between venous and arterial ulcer. Arterial ulcers occur in toes, foot, ulcer occurs in the medial gator region. Regarding the edges uh, of arterial ulcer, punched out and well defined, uh, while the edge of venous ulcer is sloping and gradual, covered with the slough and necrotic tissues, while the, in the venous ulcer. Size of arterial ulcer is small, size of venous ulcer. Exit level low and high in venous ulcer, pain present and severe in arterial ulcer, and minimal in case of venous ulcer, may be severe, especially when there is infection and cellulitis. Venous ulcer may be severe. Treatment of venous ulcer. We have to treat CVI because venous ulcer is one of the manifestations of CVI. We need to treat venous ulcer 
we have to treat CVR. Beside the standard ulcer treatments. So, with venous ulcer, you have to deal first with chronic venous deficiency and with the ulcer itself. We have conservative measures like leg elevation, passive movements, active movements of the calf muscles, and we use motion. Stocking. Of uh, surgical and endovenous treatment modalities in cases of, as I said, same line of management of CVI, the ulcer treatment itself. So, official venous insufficiency is just a repetition of CVI in general. So, superficial venous insufficiency, a defect in superficial veins, we use either laser or radio frequency ablation, we use surgical ribbing of varicose veins, and sometimes we may use sclerotherapy. therapy. This is when the cause of CVI and venous ulcer is the, we use laser, radio frequency surgery, or sclerotherapy. therapy. In fact, in the perforators, either we use endoscopic ligation of perforator or endovenous ablation, as I said, in the varicose veins, or surgical uh, ablation. In the deep veins, that to say, either obstruction or incompetence, we may use this technique, valvoplasty or uh, valve transplant. Standard ulcer management, as I said before, first, debridement, surgical debridement used to remove uh, divided tissues. Uh, sometimes we use enzymatic agents uh, on the wound uh, to break down necrotic tissue. The topical uh, therapies, uh, special zinc paste bandage we call uh, UNAPUTS. Sometimes we use skin substitutes, skin grafts, autogenous or uh, allergenic skin graft. Uh, micro, microbiology. When we use antibiotics, antibiotics, whether topical or systemic, when surrounding inflammation, when there's an increased pain, when there's a heavy or perinatal oxidative, or rapid duration of the ulcer or fever. When a patient with a venous ulcer Tovic. I try my best to find the topic to you because it is um, a bit complicated uh, topic. Uh, uh, it is a challenging um, condition to deal with in a clinical in a clinical practice everywhere and abroad. 
and I am ready to receive any question from you. شباب سمعوني؟ اي نعم دكتور نسمعك اذا احد عنده سؤال حاضر انا لا دكتور عاش سيدك ان شاء الله ما كسل بس اهم شيء بهاي المحاضره زين طبعا ان شاء الله من الدامون بصف سادس باذن الله تعالى زين راح نشوفكم الكيسات السي في اي والفاركوز فينز وراح نحكي لكم على السبيشال تيست بالفاركوز فينز هاي كلها تشوفوها والفينس عصر هوايه يعني مثل ما قلت لكم الفينس افشنسي از فيري كومن بالبراكتس هوايه نشوفها يعني انا الباحه شايف كيسين يعني ماي كلينيك زين يعني وحده حرامات يعني ما اقدر اصورها لكم يعني تيبيكال هاي انفيرتد شامبين بوتل ابيرس كنت تقريبا 50 ييرز اولد موربيد اوبيزيتي زين كرونيك سي في اي وفعلا تيبيكال فيتشر مال ابيرس ف ذيس كونديشن از فيري كومن اند از فيري هارد سبيشالي ذا بروبلم ان ذا ديب سيستم يعني اذا إذا مشكلة الفينس سفشنسي والألسر ديو تو فاركوز فينز فيري فيري هاي مجرد أسوي أبليجن الفاركوز فينز والبيرفريتز وذر ليزر أو ريد فريكونسي أو سيرجري أول فيتشرز أوف ويل ديس أبير وذين وذين فيو ويكس أور مانس ذا بروبلم إز وين ذا When the defect in the deep system, the المشكلة المشكلة الحقيقة هي بال 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 CVI مشكلة بال deep system يعني مثلاً ما يضع عنده chronic DVT وصار عنده obstruction و narrowing زين أو عنده valve incompetence بال deep system كلا زين لأن yield مال treatment not effective. يعني لا ما حتى لو حتى لو اسوي له مثلا ستنت اسوي له فالف ريكونستراكشن ريكونستراكشن او اسوي له سيجمنت سيجمنت اللي بيها فالف كومبتنس حتى سيجمنت جديده يعني فيني جرافت ويل جيف ا ليميتد سكسس شوف البيشنت with deep venous sufficiency for many many years يعني سم يعني أكو مرضى مرات يجون لبعض أبوتيش because of severe severe uh, chronic ulcer current infection and cellulitis the superficial system is very easy but, but the deep system CVR okay I will add my, my lecture to the uh, The, this lecture will be present soon. <laughs>